My name is Katherine Radica, and this is a short explanation of rapid learning cycles. Rapid learning cycles are how innovators get their best ideas to market faster. It's the application of ideas from agile software development and um, other places such as the Lean Startup, and applying those ideas for a tangible product. So agile software development and the Lean Startup, they um, they advocate experimenting on your customers, you know, presenting things to your customers for feedback, getting feedback on them, even releasing a minimum viable product onto the market, and then letting your customer feedback and reactions guide the development of the future versions of the product. Okay, well that's really easy to do if you're building, you know, an app for an iPhone, but it's not so easy to do if you're building a medical device or a braking system for a heavy truck, um, or even something like a sunscreen. If you're pushing the boundaries of technology in any of these areas, then um, you're going to have a lot to learn. Um, and you're going to have to do it without experimenting on your customers so intensely. So with rapid learning cycles, we take the best from these principles. We take the idea of, um, of cycles of learning and we uh, tailor them for the challenges that we face when our best way to learn is to build a prototype. Um, or order samples from a supplier and run some physical tests, you know, things that take a while and, um, and, and require some real care and thought if we want to make sure that we get the knowledge that we're expecting to get from our experiments. So what a team does when they use rapid learning cycles is they take some time to identify the major forks in the road, the major decisions that they're going to have to make if they want this product to get to market as a great product. And then they step back and they ask themselves, okay, when we get to that fork in the road, what are we going to need to know? We call those knowledge gaps. And then they structure the key decisions and the knowledge gaps into these learning cycles and use an agile project management methods to manage the work of the learning. It's a perfect fit because as the team's learning, new things come up, they need to make course corrections, they need to change direction, and the Agile project management framework and the cyclical structure of learning cycles allows them to do that. Now inside, um, they're performing experiments. They're, uh, they're running tests, they may be building prototypes, they may be um, you know, doing uh, customer interviews, um, whatever they need to do in order to learn um, what they need to learn to close these knowledge gaps. And then when they do that, what we find is that the, they reach the end of the learning phase of product development, early product development, with a much deeper understanding of the technology and a much greater understanding of customer need. And so they're able to optimize the product to be the best product it can be, the product that is the most in alignment with the vision that the innovators have for the product. And execution goes much more smoothly products get to market on time, customer commitments are kept, and the product developers themselves have a much um, much easier, much much more enjoyable time um, to finish, finishing up the work to get the product to market. Now once you've learned how to do rapid learning cycles, you don't have to limit it to early product development. Uh, you can use it in advanced development where you're really pushing the boundaries of the technology. You really are trying to uncover something completely new. You can use it in the later stages of uh, development to uh, deal with any major risks that have cropped up or any um, unexpected or new information that comes in. And you can use it after the product's out the door if you, um, you know, do have a warranty issue crop up or a, a customer service uh, issue. Um, you can use learning cycles to help you close those things as rapidly as possible to keep um, and, and so that you can get a good answer out to your customers. So if you're interested in learning more about rapid learning cycles, you can go to my website. That's lpdrc.com, and you can also read my book, The Shortest Distance Between You and Your New Product, How Innovators Use Rapid Learning Cycles to Get Their Best Ideas to Market Faster. Thanks for listening.